Whip an excursion, dope boy splurging yeah. Too much ice on it, made her nervous Damn. Flexing on purpose, Damn. still smoking cushions, still drinking purple Okay, we have here the 01 F250 uh, with a 6.8 V10. We just dressed up the motor. We're well, not dressed it up, but we put all the timing cover gaskets. We're waiting for the exhaust manifold gaskets to put on the exhaust manifolds. Before we put in the truck, because there's little to no space on the passenger side, we already put the oil pan gasket, new crank front seal gasket. We put the remaining seal. We're about to mount this uh, oil cooler water thing that's not a very good design. We're gonna put the motor in the truck as soon as we put the exhaust manifolds on there. We'll keep you updated when we get the motor in there. I'm starting to put it in there so you can see if anything happens. We got a 2012 Ford Fusion here up on the lift. We're doing wheel bearing and that's it. Wheel bearing had a lot of play in it. I'm doing the wheel bearing. It's too hot. Fuck yeah, it's too hot. Got the motor in the Ford. We get the transmission in there. That's why we uh, got it up in the air. We used our shop lift to get it up in the air. Then let it down and then uh, let it sit on the on the ramps. Then we'll get a transmission jack tomorrow. Get in there. Put the transmission up in the air. It was just too heavy for my little two ton. Engine hoist. I felt like it was real heavy. That's a V10. Hello guys. Today is Tuesday, the 20. What well, the 20th? 21st. Uh, we didn't record much yesterday. Had a long day. We actually got that Ford Fusion out here and there. I just I showed y'all earlier in the video. Uh, we did the wheel bearing. Little did I know I needed a shop press for that. And Harbor Freight was closed already. I haven't needed a shop press in a while. So yeah, we need a shop press. I actually got it done the old school way, you know, with a good old block of wood and a hammer. But we got it done. Um, we had to change out a lower control arm as well that was worn out. Uh, I needed a special puller, but we got that done a special way. We all got the car done and all in all, but we we're just so frustrated. It was related to the day. We weren't recording, we wanted to get it done. So, so yeah sorry about that that's all we had yesterday was basically that was it and we put the the Ford fusion and then uh i ordered a transmission jack to get the transmission in there as well i'm afraid they have one in stock so i ordered one from jigs uh we're cleaning up the shop we're about to put the silverado in here to do the cam and the lifters and dod delete basically i'm gonna press wash this area so we get that ready i get that motor put it back with this truck that's the old motor for it and we're cleaning up the shop right now had a mess in here i'm uh, pretty sure y'all seen those videos but we're cleaning, we're cleaning up the shop i already pressure washed the floor last week it got a little dirty again but no big deal it was way dirtier than that so this is already like our third thing of trash we throw away i'm still gonna clean up a little bit more and uh we'll keep you updated on the truck especially and um, we're gonna start tear down the silverado today after the water in here dries a bit, after our pressure wash it, we'll put the Silverado in here, put that charger to the back fence, and then we'll keep you updated. And uh, we need to start getting some of these cars out of here ASAP. Still can't figure out the Durango, so we got it in here. While he tears apart the Silverado, I'll probably tear apart the Infinity, just to get those two cars out of here, probably hopefully this week. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll try to video as much as we can, and uh, keep you all in the loop. Okay, so uh, I know I haven't been recording that much, but uh, had a long day again. Got the shop all cleaned up. Um, haven't did any more testing on Durango. Haven't worked on the Infinity. Actually got a Ford in. It was severely overcharged with Freon. We uh, recovered the Freon, vacuumed it down. Char charged it up to uh, 24 ounces. That's what it takes. And uh, I mean, it feels cold. It's cold. I went down the highway 15 minutes. It's cold as hell. Um, we ran into a we're trying to jump the uh, Dodge Charger, but for some reason now it has a short. You put the battery was dead, so I put the, the booster box on it and it started smoking like crazy. Uh, so we got to figure that out. Haven't had a chat. I tried to figure it out earlier, but I was just getting swamped with work today. Uh, started smoking from the rear fuse box. The battery's in the trunk. 
So I gotta figure that out. Why is it all of a sudden been parked for a week and a half and then we try to go jump it and it's smoking. Like there's a big old short somewhere, so I don't know why it's doing that. Anyway, so uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and close up for today. They're gonna come pick up the truck right now. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and close up for the day. And we'll continue recording tomorrow. Uh, we actually, our friend decided to work all day today. I guess we needed it, but we didn't do any work inside the shop today. We haven't done any, we haven't, we haven't moved forward on the Ford. We did get this entire area cleaned up so we can bring in that Silverado in here once we get that charger moved out. So we can uh, work in the Silverado in here and uh, get those uh, cam and lifters done, DOD delete. Hopefully this guy sees it. It's just a zig too. We got your uh, air freshener in our, my shop. So uh, yeah, we're calling it a day. We're gonna go home, get some rest, eat some food. I actually got the timing cover off the Infinity. We're gonna get the timing chart on that, and then hopefully this charger gets out of here by tomorrow. And uh, we'll get that Silverado in that spot. We're here around the corner, and uh, we'll get started on both of those. And those are both big jobs. We we'll get them knocked out. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Catch you tomorrow. Okay guys, so uh, here we are at the shop again. Uh, we are third Wednesday, about 10.30 in the morning. We got the uh, timing cover off the Infinity, and uh, we got all the, looks like somebody's been in here. I don't know, just pull a gasket maker. Old gasket maker, might be original, I don't know. Anyway, we got the uh, timing set here, the tensioner, Two tensioners, sprockets, chains. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go and throw, take apart all this timing right now. We're gonna set it at top dead center or however the hell you time this thing. I'll look it up in a little bit. And uh, we'll throw on there the timing gears. Cushion, still drinking purple Whip a convertible The only thing that the streets respect Is money and murder Shooter jumping out in traffic Fuck it, let that nigga have it Trapping in half fashion She real pretty, but she nasty Yeah, my trap bitch, but she classy In the club smoking blunts Back to back, but my diamonds just dancing Pull up in a different phone every day Bitch said you too fancy I told her, no, you never seen shit like this Bitch, don't panic if you ain't from the streets and never had shit, then you won't understand me. Trap nigga in the Dolce and Cabana tuxedo at the Grammys. In four days, smoked the whole 448 Grammys. My jewelry box look like the ocean. My two liter raw with this pole. I told her to close her mouth and keep your legs open. Every other day, I got a new bay. I sold 102 days. I might go trapping in UK, rent a mansion and turn into blue flame. Paper wrap Frank, that's my new name. Every month, I buy a new chain. Spot with your boot thing. I might turn it into my new thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, we got all the stuff off the infinity, all the timing chains off, everything, valve covers off, and takes off. Uh, fortunately, we're a little set back right now. There is an O-ring, like an old ten on the old tensioners, right there. Well, for some whatever reason, the new tensioners did not come with it. And we looked everywhere in the bags, we looked everywhere, and they are not in the box. So, that has set us behind big time. So now we have to go online and order the O-rings from like a motorsports company. They sell like an O-ring kit, which is, uh, I, I kind of needed it too. O-rings for the tensioners, uh, O-rings for all this. As you can see, someone used gasket maker before. I guess I've been in there, but uh, it's all the O-rings for that, all that stuff. So uh, we got all that ordered.
perish, this shit high, boy Charlie catch a vibe, I ain't had to put her on Bought a two-skitter, yeah, we headin' for the sun Charlie got my heart, I ain't trippin' for the fun Yeah, I won't start, I ain't trippin', I'm a stun Oh, oh, livin' lively Everybody tryna ride my wave, they can ride me Pull up in a foreign to the curb, lookin' icy I ain't never stressed about the fit, I'm a hype bitch I don't want more friends, it's a problem I been living like a king since I hopped in Yeah, my foot is in the bins, yeah, I'm riding with a gang Yeah, I hit a hot lick, I'm the top shit Bought a two-seater, it's a beam and more than 100 racks BB's like Wafina, I be iced, I don't ever cap First name deal, I got my back, yeah, we all the mat Ice cream reefer, hold it up, yeah, we feeling gas Driving with a towel, going 100, running flow with her Riding with my shawty, yeah, I knew I had a flow with her Looking like a bottle, shawty bad, yeah, she know what's up Looking at the stars, at the stars, I don't fuck it up Shawty catch a vibe, yeah, I had to put her on Bought a two-seater, yeah, we headin' for the sun Shawty got my heart, I ain't trippin' for the fun Yeah, I won't start, I ain't trippin', I'm a stun Oh, oh, livin' lively Everybody tryna ride my wave, they can ride me Pull up in a foreign to the curb, lookin' icy I ain't never... Okay, we're doing, uh... Break, look at this rotor right here Yee, that's bad, is the backside looking like that too? Oh, the backside's real smooth, but it's worn down so Replacing the rotors Front rotors, look, uh, they look good they look like they're scratched, but they're actually really smooth. They're good. We're basically we're doing pads. We already put in the lower control arms on both sides. <laughs> nice and pretty and clean. Little fingerprints on it, but no big deal. We're doing front pads as well. They're already uh, about a quarter of the way down. Quarter life left. So we're doing pads and rear rotors and rear pads as well. There's all the control arms. And now we're going to do, like I said, rear rotors on this side. The pads on this rear. I mean, it was just worn down, like, really uneven, real crazy. And the, actually, the uh, guide pin on the caliper bracket, this guide pin, right? This is an old guide pin. Oh, actually, this guy was driving around. I had to order new guide pins and bolts because this guy was driving around uh, with a broken bolt in the bottom guide pin. So these are new guide pins already. They're uh, greased up. Ready to go. They're greased up, ready to go. Uh, I think the old guy has already chunked them. But yeah, that was a broken, this guy was driving around with one bolt on its caliper. You can tell, look, a lot of rust, shiny. So yeah, uh, thankfully he didn't have an accident because of that, you know? So here's uh, this guy pin right here too as well. It's kind of locked up, so we're gonna go ahead and take it out. Clean it up with a brush, wire brush, and uh, re-grease it. I did that with all the guide pins all the way around which like you're supposed to do with every single brake service so yeah we'll do that take care of this car and uh i think yeah i already have up there infinity winning on uh tensioner o-rings we'll get this manable out here today we'll get that silverado in here start tearing that silverado apart hell yeah hell yeah Okay, so uh, as you can see, Mel peed on the floor and the Malibu is gone. We got the Malibu all done and said, I actually took it for a test drive and I, I don't know, for whatever reason, I put the parking brake before I left and the car didn't move. Like I released the parking brake, it still didn't move. So we had to put it back on the lift, jack it up and the, the parking mechanism, parking brake mechanism on the caliper was stuck so i tried to clean it with brake cleaner and i put pb blaster all over it they didn't want to free up well it freed, it freed up with my good old hammer but not by itself like it's supposed to so uh so the, the last customer they said no you know what so we don't use parking brake anyway so they we released the brakes and took it like that so that's that and uh so now we're on the hold up on the infinity uh so Rado, we're gonna start in it tomorrow for sure. Waiting for a transmission jack for that truck. Should get here Friday. And that's about it. Waiting for them to get that charger out of here too. They should get it out of here by Friday. Uh, we got a Durango we're still working on, trying to diagnose. Still in luck with that. We're gonna have to go into it. We're gonna have to actually put hands into the engine to find out. So computer ain't telling us shit. It's kind of misfire. Unless they have it cammed out, they don't even know it. <laughs> right, it might be cammed out. They don't even know it's cammed out. So yeah, we'll uh, check into it right now, and uh, we'll see you on the next video, I guess, or we'll, if something else pops up, it's barely 5 o'clock, we'll keep you updated.